Hi and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm going to install Windows 10 on an SD card for the Steam Deck. First up you need to go on the Windows website and download Windows 10. Links are in the description but this also works for Windows 11 too. For doing, follow the instructions. Just need to download it and we need to download it as an ISO file. This will purely be having Windows on the SD card only. This is not dual booting. And somewhere to save it, I'm just saving it to the desktop and then let it do its thing. It will take a few minutes. Once that's done, we just need to download a few drivers for the Steam Deck. Again, links in the description. Download all these ones that I'm also doing. Then once you've downloaded them all, we need to just create a folder, so drag them all into a folder. And then once they're all in there, then extract them all, it's easy to do it now. Then you can delete all the zipped files. Now we're going to use a software called Rufus, again the link is in the description. We just need to open up, make sure you select your SD card, make sure you're selecting the right card. Then click on select and find wherever you've saved your Windows ISO, which is saved to my desktop. And then you need to change this option, you need to go to Windows to go. Then everything else can pretty much stay the same, I'm just renaming it. You don't have to do this, it's an optional extra. All the other bits remain the same as well. And then you click on start and let it do its thing. I'm just going with home, it's the easy option. Again, this is going to take a good few minutes to do. Once that's complete, we can open the SD card and we can see our files. So what we're going to do is create a folder where we're going to save the drivers that are going to be needed for the Steam Deck once it's set up. So you just drag them across. Again, take a minute or two. And then that's it, we're done on the computer. So take out your SD card, pop it into your Steam Deck. Now you need to press volume down and then the turn it on. Once you turn it on, keep holding the volume down button until it comes to this screen. Once it does, you can release. Then you just need to tap down, select the SD card, press A, and then it'll start doing its thing. So this does take a while, and as you see, the orientation changes, but we'll fix that later. So you just need to click through and set up windows as you go. So we'll get to a point where it has to connect to the internet because the Wi-Fi drivers aren't installed yet. You just have to skip past that and then just continue through again. And then finally there, so we just tap hold of the screen and it will bring up this. So you just want to find the display settings, then go down to the orientation and then just flip it around. So you change it from portrait to landscape and then save it and then we're up, up and running. Then if we go into our, into our hard drive, we'll be able to find all of our Steam Deck drivers. And now we just need to go through each one and install each one. So 
so straight away we've got the Wi-Fi installed and we've got a few others so it's just a case of opening them up, installing them, shutting them down and then carrying on some of them are quick, some of them take a few minutes so we'll just go for a quick restart here but you can just carry on if you wanted to So these last two drivers are for the audio, so these need to be installed slightly different. So just look at the tabs that I'm, I'm clicking on. So you right click and use, there's an install option. Just click on that and it will install it. And then we've got some sound at last. So then I just tap at the bottom just to try and get the keyboard shortcutted in the corner. And then after that we'll go to the search bar and then type in keyboard on the search bar. And then what I'm doing here is I'm going to change the setting so that anytime a text box appears while in Windows you can just click on it, the text box, and it will automatically bring up the keyboard making it nice and easy. It's nice and easy to connect to the Wi-Fi. So we'll turn it back on. And as you can see, Windows just starts as normal now. So it's just normal Windows. Here's your computer, there's your hard drive. You can view whatever you want, install as you want. The volume working as it should do. Nice and easy fully installed windows. And if you go to the corner, it shuts down again, just as easy, just as normal. So, if you take the SD card out, as you'd expect, when you turn it back on, You're not going to need to boot to Windows, it will just boot to SteamOS. To get back to Windows, pop the SD card back in. Once again, hold the volume down, turn it on. And then select the SD card and it will boot straight from that. As long as you don't take the SD card out, it will continue to always boot to Windows when you turn it on and off. The only way you get back to SteamOS is by taking the SD card out. So hopefully that was nice and simple. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.